the secret to achieving contentment is to put your trust in Allah. Allah is the disposer of all affairs. We need to at all times convince ourselves that Allah only sends our way what is best for us and only keeps away that which is harmful for us. مَا أَصَابَكَ لَمْ يَكُنْ لِيُخْتِئَكَ وَمَا أَخْتَأَكَ لَمْ يَكُنْ لِيُصِيبَكَ What was destined for you will never miss you and that which was destined to miss you would never reach you. If the entire creation were to come together in order to benefit you, they will not be able to benefit you except to the extent which Allah has already destined for you. And if they will come together to harm you, they will not be able to harm you except to the extent which Allah has already destined for you. The pen has been lifted and the ink has dried. All conditions within ourselves and around us come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what we need to understand, happiness and sadness both comes from Allah. In essence, sadness is part and parcel of human life. It is part of being human. It is a normal human emotion, which all human beings experience at different phases. The Anbiya also experienced immense sadness and grief. Musa السلام, had to deal with the Banu Israel, who were very difficult people to deal with. They objected to everything that Musa السلام, السلام, said to them. Isa السلام, had to deal with the fact that the very people to whom he was sent rejected that he was a messenger and at some point even wanted to kill him. Our own master, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he had to deal with the fact that he lost many family members during his lifetime. In fact, all his children passed away in his lifetime except one, Hazrat Fatima radiallahu ta'ala anha. When we look at what happened to Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam at Taif, he was physically chased away and stoned by the wretched people. But all of this occurring, it never deterred any Nabi from pursuing his mission. In fact, after what had transpired in their lives, they carried out their mission more vigorously. Their sadness did not result in hopelessness. Their sadness did not leave them in a state of inaction. They went through periods of sadness, but not depression. There is great comfort for a believer in the fact that everything comes from Allah and He is in control of everything.